Welcome to episode one of Inside Stetson Football, presented by West Volusia Family and Sports Medicine. I'm Kenny Schrellinger with head coach Brian Young here to my left. And coach, you get your first career win as a head coach. Just take us through those emotions that you went through in your first win on Saturday night. Well, we actually were glad it was over. I mean, the buildup of this whole new era that we're starting here at Stetson and getting a chance to finally get a chance to play ball, um, play some football based on how the past year has been. It's been an emotional buildup. And once the ball got kicked off and the game got started, all those emotions went away and I got focused on the game. So we were glad when it was over and realized, hey, you just coached the first game as a head coach. And so we're excited about that. And so that was that. 54 to 14 was the final score. Stetson beats Warner University and they had uh, two quarterbacks going with Alex Piccarelli and John Setter. Um, just give us your thoughts on how those two played it out under center. I thought both of those guys did an awesome job. We got a chance to see both of them under some live bullets, real game action. Uh, you know, Alex brings a, a dual threat uh, component to his game, uh, being able to pass and run the ball. Um, John came in the game and he did an awesome job in throwing the ball and, and, and going down to score four times throwing the ball through the air. And so. Uh, I thought he did a both of them did an awesome job. The run game was was going as well. Jalen Leary was running behind a tough offensive line. What are your thoughts on the ground and pound game for you guys? Well, I give all our credit to our offensive line uh, coach and our offensive line. Those guys came out and established themselves and gave some holes for uh, Jalen to, to run through, and uh, he did an awesome job. Going to the defensive side of the ball, you had a productive day as well. Um, only giving up one score on defense. So uh, what is your thoughts on the defensive side of the ball for you guys as well? Well, we, we did that. How, we still have some things that we got to work on overall. We got to get better tackling. We got to get better just fundamentally. And that's, I think, throughout all three phases of the game, we got to get better. But defensively, I thought we established ourselves early and uh, by sending pressure and being attacking. But there's a lot of things we got to get cleaned up. On special teams, you had good place kicking, good punting. Um, just one relapse there right before half when the kickoff. Um, what did you think from uh, Cameron Gillis and company and your and your special teams? I thought Cam did a great job going out and, uh, and 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 helping us in that area. So, you know, again in that area as well, we got to clean up some things in our special teams and just to end the half uh, the way we did. Did not like that at all, and uh, just was a uh, a. Uh, a situation that we need to get cleaned up and we will looking ahead into this week you play back at home at 6 p.m against ave maria um, you have a week of practice to get ready for them and work on what you think you need to improve on from last week so what are those things you know, our goal is to be always one percent better i think in the red zone offensively we came short uh came up short maybe once or twice and then we got to be more efficient in the red zone and when we get the ball inside the area know we're coming out with, with seven and not just three points defensively again like i said we got to tackle uh, and, and get ourselves and keep gap integrity and do all the little things that are fundamental to us being successful on defense and offensively i think again we just got to can not only control the ball, uh, protect the ball, and uh, be efficient in the red zone and score every time. Uh, and if you were at the game on Saturday at Spec Martin, you would notice that the crowd was really into it. Lots of support um, coming from all over the place. Um, so what did you think about the crowd and uh, your first game as a head coach? I was excited about that crowd. I mean, everybody was in the football mode. You know, we got an opportunity to have football being played again and just based on the past year or so. I think people were excited. Plus, you know, new era. I uh, want to see what we uh, was bringing to the table. Um, and hopefully we get people to come back out and see us again this weekend. So we're excited about that. 6 p.m. kickoff this Saturday against Ave Maria. Post-game fireworks after the game. It should be a lot of fun. Thank you for tuning in to Inside Stetson Football presented by West Volusia Family and Sports Medicine. And we'll talk to you next week.